what's up y'all and welcome back to another video so today's video is another wig install and this is going to be something i feel like will be quick and easy so today i have the outre everywhere lace front wig i have the every 38 and a 24 inch and this is the neapolitan swirl and y'all she is eating this is what i'm about to install do y'all see her she is giving now let me show y'all her up close and personal so this is the wig. She's just a cute little tea part. As you can see, you have the middle and it's not too much. It's literally a tea part. So she's gonna be quick and easy. But let's go ahead and install her and let's see what she's giving. Wait to cut a couple layers up in her so she can really let you know you see you'll see that oh baby she already looks like she's coming out my scalp i like her but so far she's not tangly she's not tangling up she kind of feels a little bit thin but we gonna work with her we gonna work with her she gonna she gonna do her job and let's just go ahead let let's install her because baby the colors are eating down so to tint my lace, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me, and this is in the color 334. I like to use this to tint my lace, so yeah. I have her on the first hook, so big hair friendly, uh, no. She's very much not big hair friendly at all. She is snug, baby. and push every little piece of hair back first and you can't really customize her like to your liking because she's a tea part so you got to work with what you got <laughs> And I like to usually go in and pre-cut my lace because I feel like it lays down more smoother from here. But this is where I messed up at. With this lace being so small, I should not have pre-cut the lace. I should have glued it down and then cut my lace. Y'all, this wig is a struggle because it's not big head friendly. So it's really a little bit tough. But I hope she eats down. And if your head is big, don't buy this wig. Let's go ahead and spray her down. Let's, I'm going to do a voiceover for the remaining of this. Here's the part I was struggling with the most. The sides would not stay in place. No matter how much glue, how strong I push down, how much I push my lace in, it would not stay down. So therefore, I know going forward with a smaller wig, keep that lace on and then spray. So that was my downfall, but I still feel like the wig came out really cute. So just stay tuned until the end. Yes, I was spraying this wig with so much glue because I had planned to go out this night and I did not want this wig to slip or fall. So I was giving it like three, four layers and blow drying it crazy.
So this is the final result. Like I feel like the wig is literally eating, but a disclaimer, this is not big head friendly. Not big head friendly. So if you wanna purchase this wig, go ahead and do so. Cause the colors are literally eating down. Like I feel, I feel real good in this wig. Like it is so pretty. Like the colors like meshing together, just there's just chef's kiss. Like this is really pretty, really cute. If you wanna go ahead and purchase this wig, I'm gonna leave all of the details down below. Make sure you like, comment, and you subscribe to my channel so you can get more of me and more of me installing these type of wigs. It will not be a small wig, but it will be something that's super friendly for all of us, okay? So until next time, I will see y'all.